I do at my video box. You already have something. Hi besties. So today has been kind of a really crazy day. I've had to do like a lot of errands that I really like if I wasn't stupid, I wouldn't have to do. And we don't need to get into it. But today's also gonna be very exciting because I'm currently on my way to get my sixth tattoo. <laughs> yeah, I've had this appointment planned for a very long time and I wanted to get a tattoo while I was out here in LA because this is like a huge thing for me, like being out here and this was something I've always like wanted. And you know, you like you guys know how much being out here is just such a fun experience for me and how much I wanted it. So I want to get a tattoo to kind of like commemorate it. And also at the same time, like this experience is definitely something where I'm learning a lot about like myself and the real world and being an adult. So yeah, I'm getting a tattoo that's kind of like a symbol of me growing through this experience and yeah, and also just like a reminder of how much this, this whole thing meant to me this whole summer. So I'm currently on my way to the shop. I literally have had this appointment booked since May. I really wanted to vlog this, like I, I was planning to, and then I forgot to like start it, but here I am, now I'm starting it. So this will be really fun. By the way, if you are new here, hi, I'm Ash. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I never say this in my videos, but you guys should really like subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to follow me on all my social medias. I'll have them somewhere over there. YouTube is such an iffy platform for me now because I post a lot more on like TikTok and Instagram and I feel like I'm kind of falling off this whole influencer train if I even was on it in the first place. But yeah, if you guys like want to keep up with my life a little more, then you should definitely follow me on those platforms instead because I post a lot on Instagram. Like I know people find me annoying and I really do not care because you know what? I'm vibing out here. So that's all I have to say. I feel like I should explain like what the tattoo is. It's a very minimalist design. Like it's all line work. It's all black. Um, which goes along with most of my tattoos. No, all of my tattoos. I'm gonna have a picture of my tattoo inserted here. And basically it's like these like self-love arms that, you know, I'm like huge on self-love. So it's also kind of like me being like, yeah, we did it. And then the butterflies, I love butterflies so much and everything that they represent. And to have them like on the arms kind of represents to me like, um, not only am I currently doing it, but I'm really growing out of this. I don't know if that made sense, but <laughs> yeah. My appointment's at noon and I'm set to get there in 20 minutes. So like 11.53, which is perfect. So I can have time to park because parking in West Hollywood is just so difficult. It's so difficult to find. So this is my sixth tattoo. Which is kind of crazy because I remember when I was in high school, my mom was like, don't get tattoos. And I was like, okay, I won't get tattoos. Guys, look how far we've come. <laughs> Honestly though, I do not regret it. Every single one of my tattoos I think is very me and fits me a lot. Today's Friday, so I actually have off of work, which is fantastic. I'm so excited. This will be fun, guys. <laughs> edits so that it like ages well but overall I think it'll look really good. So.
so crisp. <laughs> Hi. Okay, I just got back to my car. Oh my god. Y'all, she's so pretty. I am, oh my god. She did such a good job. I'll be able to give you guys a better look when I'm at home, but basically, um, we did have to make a few edits to the design, which I expected because after a few years when your tattoo is like aging, the lines kind of like blur out a little bit which makes things you know less defined and everything which i'm fully prepared for i i know that going into like all of my tattoos so we are kind of just like working out the best way to make it like the vision that i wanted while still making sure that it ages well so we removed some detail in like the butterflies um and the hands but other than that like the size is perfect the butterflies still keep like the integrity of it and yeah i just i really love it I'm, I'm trying to like show you guys right now and she was really patient with me and she was super sweet so if you guys are in la and you want to get a tattoo i highly recommend the honorable society they were so good treated me really well and also like when i was searching for a place to get tattoos out here these places were quoting me like 400 600 dollars for the exact same design and i only paid like half of that price which is crazy so yeah they're really good highly recommend um and yeah i'll show you guys a little more of it when i get home and i can get like a better view do you like my tattoo <laughs> okay okay hold on let me let me let me get y'all set up on this little bougie little tripod here okay okay Okay. Can you see it? Isn't it so pretty? It's so like crisp and the lines are so like thin and detailed. Very happy. Hey besties. So it's been a little over two days since I got my tattoo. I still have the bandage on it because the artist said that I should leave it on for a maximum of three days but um it's starting to like heal up a little bit and she said that once that happens like you're good to take it off and i just have to like start washing it so i'm gonna take off the bandage and <laughs> we'll see how she fares but yeah i wanted to like have this on camera to like kind of end this tattoo vlog i guess so yeah maybe this is satisfying maybe this is gross but here we are we're doing it anyways <laughs> I hate how this feels. <laughs> there she is. Okay, now I need to wash her with soap and water and then moisturize her. Okay, so on this sheet, it actually doesn't say to wash with soap and water. So I think I just made that up, but it's fine. I, I've like taken care of all of my tattoos, so I just want you soap. But I will rinse it with water, because I feel like that's pretty, like, I don't know, like, self-explanatory. Okay, now I just have to pat it dry with a towel. I'm also really glad that I took the bandage off when I did, because... My skin is like very sensitive and it's starting to form like hives <laughs> where the bandage was. It's literally fine though. Like this, this, it's just my skin is sensitive. It's not going to do anything to the tattoo or at least I don't think it will, but here she is. Okay, lastly, I am going to take Aquaphor and I'm just going to like spread a light layer on top to keep her moisturized because that's what you gotta do and i have to continue doing this every day for maybe about a week or and a half or two weeks something like that if you're ever getting a tattoo it depends on like how big and how detailed your tattoo is because like obviously sleeves are gonna take longer to heal but something like really small and like thin lines like this she'll be good within like a week and a half 
hopefully, because I'm not allowed to go in the water for a hot second and I really wanna get back to the beach. So let's hope she heals up nicely pretty soon. So yeah. Here's how she's looking now. Uh, it's it, She looks kind of gross, I'm not gonna lie, but it's fine. When she heals up, it'll be great. She'll look so good. So yeah, that was my tattoo vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, just seeing like the whole process of this. Who knows, maybe there will be more to come. We truly never know, but yeah. I'll see you guys in my next one. If you made it to this point in the video, you are a very good human. Bye.